वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला मै नेम इज जी महेंद्र रेड्डी ई एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन टूरीजम एट नेशनल इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टूरीजम एंड हास्पिटालिटी मैनेजमेंट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए पेपर आन टूरीजम इन इंडिया एंड ए मॉड्यूल आन नेशनल पार्क एंड हिल स्टेशन इन इंडिया द आबजेक्टिव ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉड्यूल इज टू नो वाट इज नेशनल पार्क and what is hill station what is national park tourism or hill station tourism or what are the tourism activities that will be there in a national parks and uh, hill stations and what are the major national parks and uh, the hill stations that we have in india and its importance in its location so that we are going to discuss in this particular module so first we'll go through some introduction about the national parks national park tourism is part of eco tourism in earlier module we have also discussed about the eco tourism uh, but this is little different but of course it's a part of eco tourism but uh, when it comes to india we got more than 100 and uh, national parks which are very popular and having rich potential rich biodiversity uh, and these are resources for uh, tourism also so because of this particular reason and because of huge development in a uh, eco tourism especially in uh, protected areas that to the national parks we have segmented this or we have separately uh, mentioned this particular topic as uh, national parks and hill stations in india generally protected areas or the cultural artifacts areas protected legally and have a long history so any national park you take in india and in any other country these are protected legally and which is having a cultural artifacts means the people who are living is having some different culture and the different biodiversity for example some historians claim that uh, there was like a specific set aside in india for uh, the protection of the natural resources over 2 million years ago generally national parks are categorized by or under the international union for a conservation of nature category and uh, these are the category 6 protected uh, national parks in india and in india the first national park was established in the year 1936 that is jim corbett national park in uttarakhand and this particular concept is evolving and becoming more popular especially in tourism point of view so these national parks are having multiple benefits and uh, these benefits have recognized by different people and uh, different organizations but when it comes to a typical segmentation the scholar eagle mentioned that the park benefits can be seen into a three different levels so that is a society level or society point of view second level will be on the park managers or the tour operators or tour management point of view and third will be individually or as a tourist what they are going to get that we are going to discuss so the general social benefits by visiting any national parks we can see that a redistribution of uh, income and wealth and uh, there will be increased opportunity for employment generation tax generation there will be opportunity for gaining a foreign currency also and that will assist for a community development and conservation and it also promotes the conservation of natural and cultural heritage also not only culture even the nature because basically uh, the protected areas are about the natural heritage and it is also closely associated with the people like indigenous people who are living in those protected areas and a sustained and uh, commemorate cultural identity can be possible so these are other uh, socio or social benefits that we can see with the uh, park development and in other point of view in social point of view that is educational opportunity especially for the society they can learn a lot from these protected areas especially the national parks and along with that it is also promoting the wealth health and well being so basically it promotes health because 
it is connected with the nature whenever you go to any uh, tourist or visitor and uh, if they stay in a particular time for some time maybe uh, depending on their uh, availability and uh, there will be some uh, changes in terms of health condition uh, that was uh, scientifically proved and many countries specially established these national parks and in that way they are promoting uh, and they are suggesting the citizens to go and visit that particular national parks and it also expands the global understanding and awareness and appreciation between the different countries and the different regions and the second level that is a tour operators and park management point of view that is promotion of conservation is possible the tour operator whatever the money they are generating they can contribute to the conservation of nature to some extent and at the same time there will be a possibility for a development of heritage and appreciation in fact there will be a greater revenue generation and they can learn from others and there will be a possibility for employment generation and income generation and there will be a possibility for a long term sustainable economic development if we plan it in a proper way finally the third level is about the individual or a tourist there are multiple benefits for the tourist or the individuals who are visiting this particular national parks these are like it can be possible for a promotion of conservation and preservation gaining some health benefits and enhancing a personal experience these personal experience can be again divided into different like uh, the cognitive experience and affective experience and uh, psychomotor experience or psychomotor desire for example cognitive experience are uh, like learning about nature and wildlife from uh, the national parks and the other uh, concept is that affective concept for example gaining a uh, peace peace of mind in that particular area and the third one is psychomotor desire for example getting like uh, get some exercise and the other uh, benefits are participate in a social experience achieving uh, some family bonding so people who are visiting this national park like most of the time they can interact with the other people and they can learn from others they can share their experience not simply about the nature even in a in general about the society and there is also possibility for a team building and they may feel that there will be a personal accomplishment with this particular visit to the national park so these are the general benefits that we can see in this particular concept whenever you visit to the national parks or sometimes maybe hill stations so we have discussed about the national parks and its importance and impacts so now we are going to discuss about like what is the importance of these national parks this is important because it is having very rich biodiversity so now we are going to discuss about the biodiversity in india india is a mega diverse country with the only 2.4 of the world's land area and harbors 7 to 8% of all the recorded species including over 45000 of uh, plants and 91000 of animal species it is also among the few countries that have developed a biogeographical classification for a conservation and for a conservation planning it has mapped biodiversity rich areas in the country so this is one of the greatest initiative that the indian government has taken uh, compared to other countries we are doing far better when it comes to the biodiversity conservation this particular concept like they have planned in this out of 34 global biodiversity hotspots four are present in india and these four are namely himalayan and western ghats the northeast and nicobar islands so these are very popular biodiversity hotspots not only in the country even throughout the world considering the outstanding universal value and exceptional high level of endemism in the western ghats 39 sites in the state of Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra have been inscribed on the World Heritage List under National World Heritage Site in the year 2012. So this is also one of the greatest initiative taken by the Indian government along with the UNESCO. With this there is a concentration for the conservation of 
the rich biodiversity which is in endangered list so that we are conserving with this particular concept especially in uh, karnataka and kerala tamil nadu areas and what is the importance of tourism in national park we have discussed about the rich biodiversity and we have discussed about the national parks what is national park and all now we are going to discuss about the importance of tourism in this national parks we have already discussed that it is having rich biodiversity and other socio economic and environmental impacts on individuals and the society and even on the governments which they are operating so these are national parks and sanctuaries are today the most visited sites in the country because we are having more than 100 and national parks and which is having very rich biodiversity and diverse flora fauna so this is become one of the major attraction for the tourist to visit these areas the tourist say the wildlife lovers can find the best opportunities for a safari tour sightseeing bird watching fishing angling river crossing camping and many other different activities like a trekking and walking or heritage walks or the nature walks so there are the different activities that they can participate during a trip that they take to a particular national park so among that uh, especially the uh, tigers and elephants uh, many very rare species that we can witness in most of the national parks so the best example that we can say that tiger tourism is very popular and uh, the many like many national parks especially the central india uh, and even in karnataka so these areas are very becoming very popular and uh, we are having the country is having highest number of tigers where the tourists are showing interest to witness in the wild areas so that is also one of the reason that uh, the tourism in national parks is increasing and so with that there is also supporting service development like uh, the hotel industry travel agents tour operators and many other uh, hospitality services are growing day by day and these are also indirectly or directly contributing something for the nature conservation and to the local people for the development and for employment generation to make this wildlife to be more experience to the uh, tourist in most of the areas government has given permission to uh, provide basic amenities and the accessibility and hospitality services to the tourist who are visiting these areas the best example that we can see in uh, india that bandogad national park or you take any other major national parks even the taj group and the other popular hotel chain groups have established their hotels so that is one of the best uh, a uh, example that we can say that how tourism is developing in a uh, national parks because it needs lot of money and the high end uh, tourists generally they visit or they take this kind of services so that means there will be a more revenue generation with this particular wildlife watching in national parks and uh, when it comes to the profile of national parks in india as of 2012 list there are uh, 112 national parks in the country and all the national park land then encompasses a total of 39919 square kilometers it is comprising of 1.2% of the total surface area of india and a total of 160 national park have been authorized and plans are under pipeline so maybe in a recent future there will be a possibility to get all the recognition for whatever the mentioned 164 national parks in earlier module we have already discussed that uh, um part of eco tourism uh, that national park like uh, uh, the wildlife sanctuaries and tiger reserves are part of eco tourism but in this also we are going to discuss uh, uh, very briefly about the different national parks which are very popular sundarbans is one of the best national park in the country to see the wild animals especially the tiger which is located in uh, bengal and some parts of bangladesh also it is uh, covering and uh, majority part is there in uh, west bengal in india and it is also home for the several animal species which are closer to extinct 
Kanchenjunga is a other uh, national park. It is located in Sikkim. The reserve covers an area of 1,784 square kilometers and it is there in a the highest altitude. Uh, like it is one of the highest altitude national park in the country which is located in Sikkim and the place is ideal location for a nature and wildlife lovers as the biosphere reserve represents the rich ecosystem which also includes many glaciers, waterfalls, lakes, streams and other major tourist attractions which are having a rich potential for the tourists to participate and enjoy in these particular areas. The other national park is that Kajiranga National Park. Kajiranga National Park is a also well-known world heritage site in the country. It is located in the state of Assam. This particular park is visited by many tourists not only from India, even from the other countries also. So the other national park is that Manasa National Parks or we call it as a Manasa Wildlife Sanctuary. It is located in Assam. It is also the home for a rare and endangered wildlife like uh, the Indian rhinoceros, tiger, Assam rufu turtle. So these are the some flora and fauna that we can see in this particular area. And it also shelters approximately 55 different species of mammals and 400 species of birds, 50 species of reptiles. With this rich biodiversity, many people are visiting to these places to witness the wildlife in a wild areas. And the other national park is Dachingam National Park. It's a well-known national park located uh, near Srinagar, that is uh, in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. It's around 22 kilometers from Srinagar. The terrain in the area ranges from gently sloping grasslands to sharp rocky outskirts and cliffs. These are one of the major attractions and this particular park is the habitat of the endangered hangul or the Kashmir stag. So there are over 150 different species of birds inhabited parks vicinity and the golden eagle and the bird vulture or many other animals that we can see in this particular national park and it is also one of the popular national parks for a tourist to visit during the season. Namadapa National Park, it is also one of a well-known national park in the Narcissus region that is in Arunachal Pradesh and it is also ideal location for the eco-tourist who wants to enjoy the nature and they are providing different types of accommodations for the tourists who are visiting uh, ranging from small uh, homes uh, like uh, house facilities to uh, tent, uh, tented accommodation to the star level accommodation in those particular areas where nearby the national park. And the other national park is that Nanda Devi uh, Biosphere Reserve. It is also one of the UNESCO World Heritage Site that is located in uh, India in the state of Uttarakhand. And it is also very popular for uh, different uh, plant species and medicinal plants. Jim Carbet National Park is a, also one of the best national park for the wildlife which we can see tigers and many other uh, wild animals and uh, this particular national park is located in Uttarakhand, the north part of the country. Gir National Park, Gir National Park is very popular for Asiatic lion and uh, this particular park is uh, located in the state of Gujarat and uh, the government has concentrated specially to promote uh, tourism in this particular area with a particular theme of a wildlife theme or a, like extinction species that they are promoting. So this is also one of the major attraction for the tourist because of uh, the Asiatic line in this particular area. And the other national park is that Great Himalayan National Park. It is one of the largest national park in, some, in terms of uh, the size and uh, this is located in the state of Himachal Pradesh and it is also very popular for a nature tourism or the people who want to experience the nature especially uh, the atmosphere and the weather condition so all this will be a added advantage for the tourists to experience the nature 
so we have discussed about the national parks and now we are going to discuss about hill stations in india hill stations are also uh, the major tourist attractions in the country because we got hill stations which are very popular even during uh, the colonial period also uh, this particular concept was very popular and the hill stations are high altitude towns or areas or major attractions for the tourism especially these are the places of refuge from the summer heat especially uh, during summer many tourists would like to go to these places especially where uh, the hill stations uh, are very popular to escape from uh, the heat and many have a picturesque lakes and uh, focal point making them excellent place for uh, boating and many other uh, recreational activities because they are also blessed with uh, different like uh, the river systems and lakes and many other uh, like uh, biodiversity the indian subcontinent has seven principal mountain ranges and the largest of all these ranges are the himalayan that lies in the north part of the country then there are like a shivalik range that also lies within the same region as some of famous hill station that include dalhousie kulu in shimla that is in uh, himachal pradesh nainital in uttarakhand and uh, the other hill stations in india are located in uh, state of jammu kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand sikkim west bengal arunachal pradesh meghalaya maharashtra some parts of karnataka and some parts of tamil nadu uh, kerala and very few in uh, andhra pradesh so that we can see especially in northeast and northern state we have more hill stations and these hill stations all the hill stations are world famous and they are frequently uh, visited by not only the indian tourist even by the foreign tourist especially in uh, uh, uttarakhand and uh, himachal pradesh jammu kashmir these places you can see number of foreign tourists who are visiting in summer majority of the hill stations are well connected with the different accessible modes like uh, the roadways air services even the rail services are also well connected to these major hill stations in the country so these are the hill stations and we are going to discuss about the major hill stations that which are there in india all is uh, one of the major tourist attraction hill station it is located in the state of uttarakhand and it lies towards the northern part of the state of uttaranchal in chamoli district and uh, it forms a part of the garhwal mountain range a hill station and a ski destination in india and it is also one of the major ski destination in the state and is surrounded by coniferous and oak forest with a panoramic uh, view of the himalayas it is also believed that this pretty location is blessed with a sacred visit of shankaracharya and it is also surrounded by high peak uh, like mana kamet and the tallest of uh, all nanda devi uh, the place has cool climate all through the seasons and attracts the tourist throughout the year and the other major hill station in the state of uttarakhand is nainital nainital is also very popular uh, tourist attraction visited by uh, many tourist throughout the year generally it is called uh, as a lake district because there are n number of lakes you can see in around that particular place and it is also a destination for all kind of tourist for a different uh, demographic profiles and this particular city is well connected with other major cities different uh, accessibility especially the roadways are well connected to the major cities and it is uh, well maintained and well visited by the indian and uh, the foreign tourist every year so of course shimla in himachal pradesh is also one of the best hill station it was very popular even during the british or the colonial period also and it was also the summer capital for the britishers when they were ruling the country and now it is a capital for the state of himachal pradesh and it is blessed with a beautiful landscape and highly appreciated for its ethnic cultural and eternal beauty 
Shimla is also an example for architectural paradise and uh, it is having many splendid colonial architectural buildings even you can, uh, today also you can witness all these buildings which represents the colonial lifestyle and their architecture. The other famous hill station in the state of Himachal Pradesh is Dalhousie. Dalhousie is also one of the like major hill station located in uh, Chamba district. It is a gateway to Chamba district and uh, contributes majority in tourist movement in the state. And some major tourist attractions of the town include uh, Denkan Peak and uh, Kajar and uh, Dalhousie Cantonment, Sada Bajar, Tibetan Market and many other areas that you can see in this particular area whenever you visit to, to these places. The other and very popular hill station is that Gulmarg. Gulmarg is a very popular throughout the world and it is located in the state of uh, Jammu Kashmir. It is the hill station and very popular skiing destination in the state. The soil in uh, Gulmarg compromise of glacial deposits, lacustrine deposits and moraines of the resistance era covering the shales, limestone, sandstone, sachets and other varieties of rocks. And these are also attracting like giving some feel and at some added value to the tourist and uh, Gulmarg the cable car is very popular in this particular area. It is well known throughout the country is a popular tourist attraction whenever you visit to that particular uh, place one should not miss this particular uh, cable car uh, experience and it is one of the highest cable car in the world not only in India the other uh, hill station is Dharamshala Dharamshala is also located in uh, Uttarakhand it is also very popular not only for the nature even for uh, the cultural heritage also because this place it is also popular for a Buddhism, especially Dalai Lama and who is staying in this particular area and many foreign tourists, especially the Buddhist tourists visiting this area. So apart from that, Dharamshala is uh, one of the popular hill station and it is also having very good connectivity with the uh, northern states. Even from Delhi, there will be a regular bus and train services. It is very ideal destination for a natural or natural lovers. Some of the uh, famous places to see in around uh, Dharamshala are Baksu waterfall, Dal Lake, Dharamkot, the cricket stadium. In fact, it's one of the best location that you can see that uh, this kind of uh, stadium you can't see anywhere in the country. And it is located on top of the hill where you can experience the background nature with very beautiful uh, surroundings and there are like other uh, cultural centers like Tibetan Institute of uh, Performing Arts and the Tibetan Museum and you can see many Tibetan uh, tourists who come to these places uh, regularly stay for a long time. Kufri is also one of the hill station in the state of Himachal Pradesh. It's just close or you can say that is within the city of Shimla in the state of Himachal Pradesh. The name derived the Kuf Kufri means the lake in the local language and the Himalayan nature park and the Indian tourist park are the nearby tourist attractions. Whoever visit to this Kufri they can um, go to those places. And this particular place was founded in the year 1819 by the Britishers and it's become a popular tourist destination today. So we have discussed about the national parks, its importance and its tourism and the hill stations, its importance and its tourism. So with this, I would like to summarize that the national parks are the parks which are uh, protected legally by the government, maybe sometimes the private people and having uh, many socio-economic and environmental benefits. Because of tourism development, there will be a change in the national parks, in the society and the individual can also learn from the nature and it also contributes both economically and generates income to the local people and the other stakeholders. And uh, India is blessed with a rich biodiversity having uh, more than 100 and national parks and which is having the highest or the rarest the wildlife that people can witness and apart from that there are many other uh, like hill stations which are very popular even today 
like these were very popular during uh, the colonial period and now also these are become one of the best uh, tourist destination to visit both for the domestic and international tourist with this i would like to close up uh, by suggesting you through uh, like go through the e text of quadrant 1 and uh, the quadrant 3 and 4 for uh, further information uh, like web resources and the bibliographic resources thank you